Okay, so what you're looking at right now is the uh, Blitz Light Space Nebula. We have two effects here. You'll see one in blue and one in red. Now, um, the one in blue is created with an LED running through um, our uh, diffraction glass. Um, it's similar to the effect that you see in the BL-15 or BL-50. Uh, the only difference is we have a different textured glass here. Um, I'll zoom in on the picture so you can actually get a better um, detailed look at the, uh, the different textures. As you can see, um, the red is slowly morphing and so is the uh, blue and of course the uh, speed of the morphing can be changed. Um, so uh, you, you'll notice that the red um, is a little bit more defined. It's, I'm not sure if it's catching it on camera, but you have a lot more detail. Um, detailed lines, detailed ribbons of light in the red, uh, whereas the blue is more of a uh, smoky effect. So, um, what I'll do is I'll actually zoom out here. Okay, here's the effect. Now, um, I'm, I'm limited on space because I'm, I'm actually in my uh, laundry room at home doing this video. It's bright outside, so I wanted to get the video um, and send it off to you sooner. But this actually um, has the ability to cover about a 30 foot by 30 foot area. Um, so if you need me to take another video, I'll actually take another video tonight um, when it's dark in my house and I'll be able to show you um, the throw of the projector. So um, I'm going to switch on the light now and um, I'll pan over um, over to the actual projector that's creating the effect. This is um, actually the same size as our Bliss Light 50 box. So um, about 12 inches long, 9 inches wide, and uh, about 4 inches tall. Um, right here, uh, same setup as the uh, Bliss Light 50. We have a lens that you, uh, this is a, uh, for the LED and then this side is for our laser. Um, whatever features or, or um, you know uh, whatever you need that, um, in the machine we can build in like DMX controllable or if you want to start and stop the motor or speed of the motor that can all be customized this is actually a custom product okay um, so there are uh, really any any options you would need we could build into it so I'm going to go back to the effect now turn that on um, so you can actually see the effect right here. Let me position this. Okay, and um, you can actually see this is uh, the door, and this is the rough size of the image right now. And I'm, I've got about a uh, oh about a three or four foot throw from the projector right here to the door. And again, this this is capable of going 30 by 30. Um, if you need it larger, I can increase the power of the laser and the LED. And um, we could uh, te uh, theoretically get it any size you guys need. Okay, so now color. Um, what we're looking at here, and I'll zoom in um, to the red. We're dealing with a red laser. This is running at 650 nanometers. Um, I believe, Matt, you had mentioned either a uh, purple or magenta. Um, I've also got purple, but it's, it's actually at 405 nanometers, so which is on the cusp of UV. Um, so depending on your projection surface, we could uh, get it pretty much any color you want. Uh, another way, if you wanted to uh, do this without, um, you know, UV dyes or, or you know things like that, we could go with a, a, a purple color. It could be a 445 nanometer uh, um, meter uh, blue diode. It's more of a, um, I think, a richer blue. What we're dealing with here, if you look at the background, this is actually a 455 nanometer blue, uh, whereas a 445 nanometer blue would be more towards the purplish side. So that may be a way to go. Um, if you wanted more of a sky blue, we could do a 473 nanometer blue. Um, and potentially we could take a red here, mix it with the 405 purple, and create a more magenta color. So uh, the color palette is, um, you know, it's flexible here. So. Uh, really, uh, what I would need is, you know, if, if you can give me a little bit more direction on if you're more purple or magenta, or if you need both, or if you need a combination, um, and that can be done. Also, if you're looking for the LED, if you don't need as much definition, um, the LED um, solution can also pack a pretty good punch. Um, as you can see here, the, the difference between the LED and the laser, uh, or you may not be able to see the difference in the video, but um, 
The, the difference between the LED and the laser is really the definition. The laser has much more definition. Um, it's a lot richer. Um, it, it looks more 3D because of uh, the details in there. Um, but also if you overlay it, like right now, if I overlay red and blue, um, the red really jumps out at me. Um, on the camera, I'm sure that uh, exaggerates the 3D effect, so you can um, kind of see that in front, whereas the blue is in the back, and that creates the uh, dimensional look to the eye. Um, so I'll, I'll leave it at this, let you guys look at this video, and um, if you can get back to me with any uh, more details or um, you know whatever you're looking for, I can create something that will work for you. Okay, thank you very much.